Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Titan Master Nightfall run on this week's Lake of Shadows Nightfall. I'm doing it on the Titan, obviously, with the uh, Top Tree Bubble Titan. Or Stringer with Demolitionist Unstoppable. Helps me get my grenades back. Borealis is going to be very important. Now, it's not going to be the boss killing machine, but it's really going to help with the champion. So I'll explain that when the runs, when we're going through the run. Fallen Guillotine, as you can see, Whirlwind Blade, Relentless Strike, all the rest of the, the God Roll perks with a Taken spec. That's going to be one main boss killing machine, one main champion killer. Helmet's got Taken Armament, Special Ammo Finder and Void Damage Resist. Gauntlets have got Boss Resist, Fastball and High Energy Fire. Armamentarium, Counter Charge, Overload Grenades. Leg Armor, Special Ammo Scavenger, Sword Ammo Scavenger and Taken Repurposing with a Boss spec. And my... My mark has taken barrier, press of darkness, and arc damage resist. Now, we've got the armamentarium on for a reason. The magnetic grenades. They're going to be our biggest friend when it comes to taking out champions. Because as you've probably seen, I don't have an overload weapon on. That's because the magnetic grenades are going to do that job for me. Now, I've only got 60 on my grenade recharge on my discipline. But I've got taken repurposing on. So every time I break a shield, I'm going to get a grenade straight back. Borealis is going to help us break those grenades. So we're going to have an a way to infinitely have grenades. So getting heavy, taking out overloads and doing damage to the, the unstoppables is going to be perfect. So as soon as you get in here, change your Borealis to Arc. Because the first two shielded enemies you're going to come up against are going to be Arc Centurions. Arc Cabal. As soon as we get into the room where we, we actually start to tackle the ads, hit the right hand wall. Hit it dead tight and look over to the left. There is a bit where you can hide from all the ads in front of you right here and just start breaking start breaking the Centurion's shields. The Borealis has, has a perk that when you break a shield, it becomes more powerful for the rest of the magazine. So as you can see, you make kind of light work of those those centurions and this is the reason why you hit that right hand wall pretty hard because those ads really hurt and because because of the the modifier we don't get what health back what well, we do but it just, just takes a long time to come back so uh, attrition means that we get little restorative lights that drop on the floor and that is how you get your health back you'll see them you see one there unfortunately as has happened to me when I was working this run out. For some reason the game thinks that when I go to get re restorative light. It would be fun to blow it away from me. And it could just completely disappear. So uh, I try not to plan my run out against that. So as soon as we took those ads. We're going to drop down to the right. And then we're going to wait for the unstoppable. Stop him. Hit him with a grenade. And then take him out with the sword. Now I come up right against this wall. And I charge my shot. As soon as he becomes available then I happen and then you can just peek around here with the Borealis or your hand cannon I, I prefer the Borealis because it takes them out faster and then we know we're, you've always got a couple of these ads left so we're just going to mop them up and then we're going to use my sword to take out the blight now remember something about the sword guys the sword has a big heavy attack there it is I put my sword away straight away, that, that big heavy attack will not recharge until I take my sword back out. So I'm going to push out over here, round to the right, I can take the two snipers out. Be careful for the retribution blasts, that kind of attack that the hobgoblins do when you when you kill them. It, just just move out the way, be, be careful of it, because obviously we're not getting my health back, so we have to be careful with movement and positioning when we're attacking the adds. There is a third taken hobgoblin that will push into this area, and I'm exactly where I'm aiming is where he's going to come from. So while I'm aiming, I'm just trying to just pick off an ad or two, and you'll see him just coming into view here. After we take this guy, then we're going to push the overload at the top. Now the way we're going to push him is, we're going to use the trees at the on the left hand side as cover. And we're just going to run in between the trees. Now I do get tagged. You will get tagged, but the trees normally will help you escape. So as you can see, I'm just dodging them. And I'm messing with my first grenade, which is to make sure you've got two just in case that happened. 
I'm just using the tree as a little bit of cover. And as soon as he gets tagged, I'm after him. Big attack, little attack, then get out of there. He will drop 99% of the time, he will drop a restorative light. We're getting out of there because there's two, over, there's two unstoppables and one of them will always push. A minimum. Now, because I ran all the way down here, he's like, oh, I'm not going down there. He's, he, he doesn't want any. As soon as I shoot him, he's like, oh, he wants a bit. Right, I'm after him. So I'm waiting behind this car. And as you can see, I just charged the shot, hit him with a couple of uh, smaller attacks, and then ping him with a big attack. Now, as you'll see, I'm going up here to take these hobgoblins. But there's too many of these little guys about. So make sure you take those guys out before you go after the snipers. And you will see the other overload comes. So same drill. Go back down here. Just I, I'm not charging my shot. I'm just shooting them to keep them aggroed. Charge, hit. And then as you can see, because I put my sword away, my big attack hadn't charged. So I just keep hitting them with little attacks until my big attack's there. Very easy. So well, there's, there's a centurion up there. Just going to take him out. And then uh, take him phalanx. And then I'm going to take these snipers. There's three of them. One on the right and two on the left. The two on the left, there's one on ground level just next to the blight. And there's one behind the blight you'll see there on top of a kind of a bus. So that's the first one. As I say, be careful for that retribution blast. And that's all the hobgoblins taken out. Behind the blight, there is another overload. And then past that, there's another two unstoppables. So what I'm going to do, there's always a couple of ads left here. So... I just run up to the blight, kind of try and get them to come after me and put a grenade on because obviously taking armaments. Now if you don't have any of the taken mods and you're not sure how to get them, on the channel there's a guide on how to get those mods solo. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to redo it because you can now do it on the warlock and I've never added the warlock in. It's just the titan and hunter, especially for the second chest. So anyway, once you've took that blight out, make sure you've got a grenade. And then run up here, throw the grenade on the overload, jump up, allow the two blasts to hit them. Now, the great thing about these grenades is when you pop the first grenade, when you throw the grenade, the first explosion is going to proc, uh, the first explosion is going to proc oppressive darkness. The second explosion is going to take, get the benefit from oppressive darkness. So as you can see now, I'm, I'm in a great position because I can I can pop green I can pop shields now, as long as I don't run out of special, we're fine. I can pop grenades, and then I can throw grenades and get more grenades, because as long as these guys are unshielded or unprotected, as you can see, there's a lot there's a lot of these goblins about. It's worth trying to take those goblins out every time I break a shield. I'm gonna get a grenade back. As I say, the great thing about the Borealis is when you do break a shield with the Borealis, when you match the shield and you break it, I'm just going to take him out now, you get I, you, you get a perk where the rest of the, the magazine is more powerful. So it's, it, it's really good for doing stuff like this. So as you can see, there, there's two unstoppables there. I'm just going to take that phalanx out, that taken phalanx. We're getting one unstoppable, which is great. The worst scenario here is that you get both of them coming. You just have to keep backing away and just try and entice one. So same drill again. Un stop, stop them. Then start hitting them with some little hits. And, and then until your big hit's charged. So even just do three or four little hits and then a big hit. Same for this, guys. Exact same drill. Bang. Don't punch them. As you can see there, I accidentally pulled out accidentally uh punched them instead of getting the sword out but i'd done enough damage that i could finish them so it is what it is <laughs> i was trying to punch him to death obviously so what we're going to do now is i'm going to do a big attack on 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 the blight and then i'm going to back away over here because now we're going to get some uh uh, t uh, an arc shielded cabal, two overload champions, and some little lads. 
So what I'm going to try and do, you see there I'm taking a bit of fire. But I've took out the Arc Centurion, the Taken Centurion. Broke the shield so I got a grenade. Now we've got some small adds and two Overlord Champions in very close proximity to each other. Now, what we have to do is take the smaller adds out first. So I'm just going to encroach their area just from, from, from the, the, the left hand side and just try and get picks on them. And as you can see, they're not they're not terribly difficult to kill. Then what I'm going to do is stop the first Overload Champion, and then I'm going to pop a bubble. Now as you can see, I'm safe in the bubble, so I'm going to pop a grenade and then big hit back into the the bubble. I've still got another grenade. We do the exact same thing, and this time just small hits. And that's this section done. Now when you go into this next area, this is where things get, this area is where, where it gets tricky. You have to make it all the way through this area and the next one. If you do die at a certain point, it's going to put you right back there. Right back where we are now. And that can be soul destroying. So we're going to just generate a grenade. Try, try and get a grenade from killing these little, little uh, taken thrall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try throw a grenade down there. And then we're going to break this captain's shield. And as soon as I break his shield, I go after him with a sword. Big hit. He's done. I'll do the same thing. I'll stick a grenade. Now because it's because it's sticky, you see there, it took, a, it took quite a few of them out. Make sure you're reloaded with your Borealis and you're on solar for these captains. And then we'll break this captain's shield. And while we've got his shield broke... We're just going to kill him. This next captain is an elite. Takes a little bit more to kill him. So you'll see here it's not as straightforward as just break his shield and go after him. So what I'm going to do is try and get hits on him. He kind of messes about here. I've, it's, it's, I was lucky here I feel. I'm just waiting for him to come. I want to break his shield. break his shield <clears throat> and as you can see he teleported quite far away but I got I managed to get out and that's that's the problem of the taking and then he wanted to chase me I could I could have re-engaged straight away so just be aware of that just be careful with 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 the teleporting so he's I haven't bothered re-engaging on him straight away because I haven't got a lot of health so I'm, I'm quite happy to sit here with the sniper and just try and break his shield. He's probably the biggest threat that I faced. As you can see, I had my big big attack. No problem. He was the biggest kind of pain in the backside during the whole run. Because of the teleportation. So, now what we're going to do is just... As you can see there, I've put a grenade on. I'm just going to put a couple of little... Nothing too major. On the first overload. <clears throat> Unstoppable, sorry. And then he'll come after me. Just make sure he can't bloop me. And then stop him. And then sword. Very simple. If you can just aggro one of them to come after you. It's 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 not, not too bad at all. So don't attack when they're outside to the left. Because if you do. This is where he is now is kind of perfect. You can do it now. But make sure he's not against the wall. Because then you'll have that. He'll get stopped, and he'll stop facing a different direction, and you can't get any damage on him. So if he's facing the wall like that, you just don't, don't, don't try and stop him. Wait for him to come out. As I say, because because of the modifier, because of uh, attrition, you can't really play too aggressive on the Titan. So we stopped him, and he's turned. He's still got his. He's still got his. Uh, Shield facing us, so I'm just trying to get him to come away from the wall, moving in different directions. As you can see there, he's still facing the wall. I want him to come more to the front. As you can see, I'm now I've just took a chance, waited for my big attack, I stopped him, I put the grenade on him, then I hit him with a big attack. Now, this isn't that difficult, really. This section. But it's, it, you, you have to be focused. 
So as soon as I come out, I took the sniper down. I put a grenade on the little lads. I'm just mopping some of them up. And then I took out the two the two uh, phalanxes. Now there's a lot of these little lads. Now because I'm taking them up with the hand cannon, you see here they get they get quite a lot of chance to uh, to regenerate, to multiply. Just get my shield. So once you've took those, you're going to go across here. This is where we're going to do most of our work from, is right here. So I'm just going to take out some of these ads, just clear up this little section here, and then I'm going to go up top. Now, you've got two options here. You can try and take the snipers first, which I normally try to. These little little snipers here which you have to be careful because of there's an overload right in front of you above you so what we want to do is just take these little guys because if you don't they, they can try and get pings on you when you're you're taking the overload out so the idea is we're going to stick the overload with a grenade and as soon as it hits you're going to try not to get blooped and luckily, because we had the sword out, we sword saved myself. Yes, it's that was that was clutch. But truthfully, truthfully, 100%. I'd done this on the stream. That was the first time that happened. Where actually the timing was just out of sync and I got hit by the, the bloop wall. Normally, it's pretty pretty seamless, that part. Take it, taking that first overload out. So... Now that, now that you've got the first overload out, now what we're going to do is we're just going just gonna to try and clear up some of these enemies, get a bit of grenade energy. And then I'm going to go in here, put a grenade in, try and get some ammo, try and get some grenade kills so that I can go in with the sword. As you can see there, I already had heavy waiting for me. And there we go. Now... This is the trickiest part, because you've got an overload down at the bottom there. You've got an overload and an unstoppable up in front of you. My suggestion is, the first ad to take out is the, is the Taken Knight at the back, the Solar Taken Knight. So we're going to jump up to where the, sec the first overload was. And we're going to take this Knight out. Now, as soon as we break his shield, we're now going to be doing more damage for the rest of the magazine. As you can see, goes down pretty easily. And we're going to go over here to the left. And what we want, you see the Overload Champion, he's too far up. He's too far up on that gangway, on that walkway. So what we're going to do is we're going to push over to the right and let him see us. Now you've got to be, where I'm, where I'm going to go, he's too, he's too far away from us. So where I'm going to go over here, I want him to see me. Because he'll start pushing down to me. You've got to watch out because there's a bloop hole behind us. See, he's walking down. Now what I'm going to do is stick him with a grenade. And as soon as it, as soon as you see those numbers hit, jump over, big attack. And then just run forward. Now, I wasn't doing that during the streams. I was going backwards. But you do stand a chance of dying going backwards. Now, you can see that's why I didn't go forward. But you'll see what I'm going to do here. You have to be very careful with this. We're going to stop the unstoppable. And then I'm going to start sniping the, over, the, the unstoppable. But as you can see, because I attacked the unstoppable right next to the overload. The overload starts getting a little bit antsy and hitting me. So I'm going to do this one more time. And as you can see, I never, I never waited for my health to regenerate. I just hit a couple of shots and then back in. The next time, we're going to kill the, the Unstoppable, more than likely. And then as soon as we kill the Unstoppable, then we're going to do the same thing with the Overload. We're going to stick the Overload with a grenade, and then we're going to attack with a sword. And that's this section done. So, while 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 you see me do this on screen, on, on, on screen uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the boss now. Because I actually die at the boss. I'm not sure I've said that. I probably have. I died at the boss when I first got there, trying to work out a strategy. The strategy didn't work, but it, when I died, it taught me the strategy. So, I hope you guys understand that it's these. this is probably... 
I mean, the hunter, the hunter can go invisible and worm husk and stuff. I think, I think the Titan, and, Titan and the hunter are the worst PVE. Uh, they're the worst. They're the worst they've ever been at PVE. So, luckily, luckily, it all worked out fine. So when you come in here, I'm going to throw a grenade, stick those guys, and I'm going to try and get this knight killed. So I'm going to kill these, kill as many up there as I can. You see, take that knight. Once you take that knight, this doorway is now free. Right? We've got an unstoppable. We want the unstoppable to come out. But this doorway now, I can go to the doorway now. You know, if that knight is left alive, you can't go to the doorway. So same thing again, we entice... We entice the, the unstoppable round a corner where we can control his approach. Another grenade. We'll stick, stick the two unprotected goblins with the grenade. Now, this is the second sticky part. Because now what we have to do is we have to take out the, 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 the shielded knight. Not him, although I just wanted him out of the way because I don't, didn't really like him looking all the way over from there. And every time we shot them, he just done as usual. They're all being protected up there. So where I'm standing here, you're kind of safe. There's a bloop, bloop hole to our right. You have to be careful of that. But if you're getting hit, you can actually reset them. Now, it's, I didn't go far enough back. You've got... What I was doing earlier was I was jumping over to where the Unstoppable and Overload were before. And that seemed to reset the ads. But as you see... When I came in, it kind of worked. But I was getting burnt. <clears throat> so, when I went out this time, I don't, I, if I remember correctly, this didn't work. So, what I end up doing is, what I end up doing is waiting for my health to come back. And then I end up pushing them, because I've got a bubble. I know I'm going to get my bubble back before the boss. So, I ended up going in. And just pushing the stairs. I couldn't get a shot on them as you can see. I couldn't get a shot. So what I'd done was. I knew I had two grenades. So. We. St I stuck. We stopped the overload. Jumped over. And then put the bubble down. And I still managed to take the overload out. Now what I need to do is break his shield with the Borealis. Which I did. And then kill him. And that's that that was pretty pretty simple. Get a melee there to get my shield, so I'm just gonna throw a grenade and then he's fired at the top of the stairs, as you can see there. He fired at the top of the stairs, so I backed down halfway and shot him through the, the opening in the stairs. Now the rest of it's pretty pretty straightforward. We're just gonna clear everything in my path. We've got three overloads to deal with, which we'll do the exact same way. We're just going to stick them with grenades and then push with a sword. Uh, there is a there, there is a little bit of a it's not it's not really dangerous or treacherous, but it's a little part that you can get tripped up on. There's just like loads of ads that will keep regenerating. I've pushed up here. There's a pillar to my right that's blocking the the wizard's uh, view of me, so I'm just going to push up, and get a melee, get that health. That health regen, because what that health regen does is if you get hit, it will keep you regenerating health for, for a bit. And then take out the wizard. And that's the section done. So when we get up here, there's a couple of, there's going to be about four or five thrall. We're just going to take them out as we're coming in. I'm not going to bother throwing a grenade. I'm just going to clear them up with a hand cannon, because you never know, I've got... You could drop ammunition just from killing them. I don't really want to be burning grenades all the time. I can't get them back fast enough at these parts. So there's an overload up here. So what I always do is do a little bush jump. Because that just lets the overload know that I'm here. Stick with the grenade. Jump up. And that's that overload. This, this, I wouldn't say this is sticky. But see I've got my, 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 my shield up. But they do regenerate quite a bit. And you can see there. I'm killing them, but they're regenerating. But luckily, I've got health there. So I just jump round. As you can see, it kept regenerating my health. Just take that last one out. And then we've got some of the little elite goblins. Man, they just keep regenerating. Heavy. Nice. 
Now I can take these goblins out. And then it's just two overloads and then we're at the boss. So the plan with the boss is you are going to actually uh, use both, both your grenades before you get to the boss. At the top of the stairs here, there's an overload. We're going to stick him with a grenade and then we're going to go after him with a sword. And then you've got another one at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our sniper on solar. Just hit him now. We're going to keep our sniper on solar. And we're going to farm this knight for... We're going to break his shield twice. And that will get us... As you can see there. Hit him once, get a grenade. Hit him again, we're going to get another grenade. So what happened? How did I die at the, at the boss? Well... I got greedy with my sword swipes, basically, which I'm not going to do here. So you'll see here, I'll clear these ads, and then there'll be a little, you'll see that it'll change. I won't have my super, uh, because this is where the cut is. What happened was, I'm going to do exactly the same thing to start with. I'm going to hit the boss with a grenade, then I'm going to go after him with a sword to start with. I'm not going to pop the bubble to start with. I'm going to hit him, but I got too greedy with the sword swipes. And then when I popped the bubble, I got crowded out of the, of the bubble. I couldn't get back in it. What you have to do, you'll see here, is break the shield. Break the break the, 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 the blight. A couple of shots. Don't stand in it once you need to reload. Come out, because you'll be losing health. And then, for anybody that's seen the wallop run, it starts off uh, similar. I've changed the sword. I'm going to run around to the back of him and hit him with a grenade. Then I'm going to do a big attack, and then I'm going to start sword swiping him. He's going to bash me, I'm sword swiping. As soon as he bashes you, that is that is when, as soon as you get back to him, that's when you want to pop the sword. Now, I didn't attack him straight away there, because he was out of the bubble. Make sure he will come into the bubble with you. Even if you think he's walking out of it, he will come in and just keep spamming small attack. And then big attack. And before you know it, he's dead. Make sure you stay in the bubble. The ads will come after you. You've got a sword. You can just smash them. And that's it. And you can see it's a pretty fruit. As as most people know, it's a pretty fruit, fruitful, fruitful grind. So big attack. Swipe, swipe, swipe until he bat, bats you away. And if you're doing swipe, swipe, you'll swipe back to him. As soon as you swipe back to him, drop the drop the bubble. And, that, and just make sure you keep getting hits on him. And don't chase them out of the, the bubble. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. Dom, this one was definitely inspired by you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.